Oh! Hey there! Take a look at this right here. All right, so almost one year of waiting for this thing to be delivered. Going from the Indiegogo campaign to delivery at my front door. So I'm pretty excited to take a look at this thing and let's go ahead and open it up and then uh, show you how to put this thing together. You like it. It's pretty well packed. So you can see it's, uh, it's pretty well packed. We've got uh, a couple extra tires in here. So these are the road tires they've been given to people. Um, I guess extra set of tires, which is kind of interesting because I did not order those. So uh, I'll take them for free. Sure, why not? Had to change into some shorts because this Texas heat, a little too warm for this guy. But uh, I'm sweating and it's only been a short period of time. So, there it is, pretty quickly uh, put together. Let me throw this other pedal on there and uh, then try to look at the instructions. All right, so I ordered the color version of this uh, display. So let's see. It's black and white and color. This is the only box that I got with the bike. So let's see what it comes with. All right, so there is the charger. And let's see if, uh, <laughs> let's see when I plug this in to charge the battery if this uh, smokes like some of the other folks have been getting. Uh, I do have the um, non-boffing, I can tell by the actual numbers on the back of the motor. Um, if anyone remembers or is uh, attuned to what's going on, this bike appears to have came out of Taiwan and the Taiwan bikes do not have the Bafang motor in the back. This looks like the other motor that comes from Taiwan. So we'll see uh, how well that does here over time or if it ends up being an issue. And then here is uh, the only piece of paper that comes with the bike. And so, um, uh, excuse my disgustingly sweaty arms, but um, basically just tells you how to use this smart charger. Um, and that's, that's it. Uh, my smart charger did come with the European type of plugs. So uh, I'm gonna have to buy an adapter for that, which I'm um, not a huge fan of. So I'll be emailing Mate about that because, uh, yeah. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this new crazy mother.
Hi there. Welcome back. It's been a while. Glad you stuck around. I missed you. So, the Mate X 750S. 750 watts of pure electric power from Taiwan. It has been about almost a year to this date since I backed the Mate X on Indiegogo to receiving it. Uh, first impressions, I like it. Uh, it's my first experience with an e-bike, so I don't have a lot to compare to. And there has been a lot of controversy around um, the parts uh, with the delivery and just some issues, but I'm not really gonna get into those controversies. If you wanna dive into some of those things, you can go ahead and check them out on some of the forums and the Facebook groups. But uh, getting it out of the box, unboxing it, pretty easy. Uh, getting it set up, fairly intuitive. And the build is pretty solid. All of the takedown points, so the rear seat takedown point, the middle uh, point where you can fold the bike in half, the front handlebar takedown points, they're all pressure um, clasps, I suppose is what they're called, um, and they're all really solid. So overall, the build of the bike I'm pretty impressed with. There's a little bit of delay with the thumb throttle, not much. Again, e-bikes are, I'm really new to them. This is the first one I've actually ever ridden. Um, the pedal assist is its kind of crazy, to be honest with you. Um, I had it on Eco 3 the entire time I've been riding it, even off-road. So um, if you've never ridden it before, you really don't need to use much effort. And again, I only had it on 3, and it goes up to 8, I believe, either 7 or 8. Um, and the Eco mode helps conserve your battery. Um, the only upgrades that I've done to the bike was I upgraded to the larger battery, 17.5 amp hour, um, when I purchased it. I upgraded to the rear rack that comes with the uh, rear light and then the front joker light, which I have not yet received. Same as a lot of people, and that's how that goes. Uh, and then I also upgraded to the color display, and I bought the fenders. Um, so that's really all I bought as far as upgrades to the bike that were perks uh, through Indiegogo when, uh, when it was offered. Um, adjusting the settings on the bike itself is fairly easy. It took me a few minutes to figure out how to do that. Uh, but essentially you just press the, if you have the color display, I'm not sure about the black and white display, you just press the power button twice uh, really quickly and then it brings up a menu and allows you to go through all of the settings on the bike itself. Additionally, if you tried, if you want to turn the lights on, you hold the plus button for about two seconds and that'll turn the actual rear light on. Now when the front light does come in, um, it'll include a horn and so there are buttons on the handlebars on the left side that have turn signals which which work pretty well for the rear light and then uh, and then a horn button so uh, we'll see how that goes once that arrives again overall I'm pretty happy with it uh, it feels really solid um, a couple things that I don't like about it um, the fenders straight trash don't buy them uh, not worth it at all. Um, they rattle all over the place. They're really loose on the bike. Kind of feel like a cheap aluminum. I don't even know what they're made out of, but they just, not quality. Um, I would probably, I'm gonna look at picking up maybe, uh, I think like Top Peak or some other bike uh, fenders for it and see if there are any other options out there, but straight trash. Stick away from those. I wouldn't spend the, I think they're $50. They're either $49 or $99. Either way, they should be $5. Wouldn't buy those. The rear rack, um, I like the utility of the rear rack. It wasn't a significant challenge for me to put on like some other folks have had, but um, it did take a little bit of leverage to kind of get it square uh, and then not stress the, um, the screw holes, right, so that I didn't strip out the screws. So that took kind of a little bit of leverage. I used a, a clamp to do that and get some leverage on it, um, but it went on fairly easy. The rear light, the cable is a little long for the rear light, um, so I kind of wrapped that uh, around the uh, bike rack or the rear rack and then mounted the light where it is. And it angles up a little bit, but I'm okay with that. I know some folks have mounted it under the seat 
uh, or kind of along the back uh, fender if they didn't have the rear rack on. I'm okay with it where it's at. The uh, shocks on the bike, again, you can tell this is where they went uh, very cheap on the bike. They're, yeah, you can adjust the spring and the lockout on it, but um, the front shocks are, I mean, if you're used to a mountain bike with like Fox front shocks, they're trash also. Uh, same with the rear. Um, they're not, the rear isn't adjustable. Um, and if, you, if you're planning on doing anything on trails, um, like you see in the videos coming up to this where they were just very light trails, that thing is bouncing all over the place. Um, that is a place where you could tell that they went, they went fairly inexpensive and cheap on the bike and um, I may replace those, I'm not sure. If you're gonna use the bike to just commute around um, to let's say go to the store and pick up some beers, which is probably what I'm gonna do, um, I think it's good for that. Um, having the throttle uh, when you feel lazy and don't feel like pedaling uh, or the pedal assist even it makes it nice the bike is heavy it's around 60 pounds and I you know it wasn't intended to be light with the battery and all the components of it but pedaling it without the uh, throttle or the pedal assist again is pretty terrible experience but you have a motor so use it so overall, I like the bike. I don't know how long the battery is gonna last. I've only put about 10 miles on it and I'm not sure about any other components. I may upgrade a few components, definitely the fenders, and I may end up upgrading the shocks on it. Um, I know some folks have gotten some aftermarket, a little less expensive ones and use those. Um, maybe I'll do that. I'm not sure. I might just use it to cruise around. Either way, it's pretty fun. I've got it up to about 20 miles an hour and you can tell that it's throttled at that point. It doesn't go much faster on flat land. I haven't tried ludicrous mode. Um, but uh, mechanical brakes um, and it moves. And so, you know, for the price that I paid for it when I backed it waiting an hour or an hour, a year for it, um, I think it was worth it. Uh, there's some minor flaws to it, but um, it's a cool little bike to get around on and it's a gadget. And I had an itch for one of those and I just so happened to scratch it. And you should also do the same. I'll see you next time. And maybe it'll be less than a month before my next video. I don't know. Life's crazy. Bye.